Hi, I am Daniele Ungari from EPFL Sion, the group by Bernd Smith. And today I will present uh, how, how our group is using uh, AIDA to study gas absorption in microporous crystal. Let's start by introducing a bit uh, microporous crystalline material. Uh, these are material characterized by uh, microscopic pore where molecules can absorb, and we distinguish three main uh, classes. Metal organic framework, where organic links are connected uh, with the organometallic chemistry. Covalent organic frameworks uh, that are very similar to polymer, but uh, they retain some crystallinity. And finally, zeolites uh, made of uh, silicon and, uh, um, and oxygen. Uh, just to give a rough estimate on how many porous material we have for this category, we estimate about uh, 10, 20,000 of MOF, synthesized MOF, uh, around 500 porous covalent organic framework that we collected uh, for the study that I'm going to present. And for zeolite, uh, we are con to consider there are about 300 topologies uh, and then different chemistry ratio of aluminum and silicon. And, uh, uh, but this is the order of magnitude. One can uh, imagine the order of magnitude. Of course, we can use uh, this, uh, simulate this material because they, we, are, we assume that they are crystalline and therefore studying the unit cell, we can get information on the bulk material, but I let you uh, imagine how expensive is the simulation of this material because we have thousands, uh, hundreds, let's say, hundreds of atoms uh, and very big uh, uh, unit cell with a lot of vacuum. Indeed, this is the big problem, uh, the big challenge of absorption, is that we have theory to study thermodynamical property and transport properties of molecules inside this material, but on the other side, we have to play with uh, uh, affordable accuracy for the interaction, because we know that uh, the best uh, are couple cluster method, but DFT, is uh, usually affordable for uh, uh, this simulation for this material with the hundreds of atoms. But when we need the thousands of different configuration uh, of the uh, position for the, for the gas inside the framework, we have to scale down to force field method to compute the energy of the interaction much more rapidly. And therefore in this study, uh, what we wanted to study uh, was a CH capture in covalent organic framework and built in AIDA the wall uh, frame to do this. We start from the, a database of experimental structure with some data refinement. Uh, we run geometry optimization, geometry characterization of the pore, absorption properties, and at the end, we evaluate uh, the performance uh, of this material for, uh, for CO2 capture. And for doing this, uh, uh, we compute different uh, properties using different uh, software, like uh, for the geometry optimization, we run, uh, we run uh, DFT in uh, CP2K, that is a particularly efficient code for such a big structure. Uh, the geometry characterization in uh, Zero Plus Plus, RASPA for Monte Carlo uh, simulation of absorption properties, and our uh, Python in house code for uh, the process modeling. And uh, we use AIDA to orchestrate uh, the input and output of all this software that need to be uh, merged together. Let's start from the geometry optimization. Uh, by using DFT, um, so what we um, what we shaped for uh, uh, working conveniently with our material is what we call the multi-stage work chain, where we have uh, um, a protocol of optimi optimization where we specify different setting, a very efficient setting, but may not work. For example, for conductive material where we need smearing and we don't know a priori which material are conductive, and for that uh, we set. Uh, a new, um, uh, a new set of settings and, uh, and then different stages for the optimization. One first cell optimization with uh, uh, only 20 steps, then we run molecular dynamics and we'll show why. And then we do a final cell optimization. So the logic of the work chain is the following. 
we input the crystal structure and we run uh, a setting zero and stage zero. And if this converges, we continue, otherwise we try, we change the settings and we try more robust one. Uh, and if it doesn't fail again, of course, uh, we cannot proceed, but uh, at least for covalent organic framework, uh, um, we, we can achieve uh, something like 99% of uh, success, success rate, so very few uh, did not converge. And uh, uh, the, the SCF, I'm uh, speaking about it at this stage. Then we continue. Uh, when we find work, uh, settings that are working, we proceed with the next uh, stage and we continue until uh, uh, all the stages are done. And at the end, we have an optimized crystal structure. The concept of using different uh, stages uh, is shown here, where uh, we run up here is energy versus the number of uh, um, DFT uh, steps. And the first we run a cell optimization, the energy goes sharply down. Then we shake, we call it uh, this way, we shake our crystal and then we optimize again. And you see that uh, the material is falling to a lower minimum. And the reason of this uh, and this may be particularly uh, suited for uh, lay layered material and the 70% the of our material, are, uh, our costs are layered. The problem is that uh, if we would run only cell, direct cell optimization, they would get stuck in a high symmetry uh, configuration where the layers are perfectly superimposed. By shaking the structure and running um, a second cell optimization, you see that uh, they tilt and they go in this lower energy uh, configuration that was also observed in other studies. And the concept is this, uh, I mean, we take uh, structure from uh, built with different uh, and reported by experimental group with different protocol. And our idea is to have a consistent protocol to have an initial reference structure for all our material. And you see there are some uh, substantial differences when we run this. Uh, some of them uh, that maybe were reported as uh, porous material, once uh, they are optimized, they collapse after maybe being shaken a bit, they collapse. And uh, um, we believe that this second uh, structure is much more reliable to describe the, the physics of uh, our system. When we have the relaxed structure and we also compute uh, uh, point charges from, uh, um, from uh, the, the energy electron density, we then uh, compute isotherm. Isotherm means uh, for different pressure point, uh, compute the CH4 and nitrogen uptake uh, um, and uh, the heat of absorption, so the energy that uh, uh, the average energy um, of the molecule inside the framework. And for this, we have the grand canonical Monte Carlo simulation, so we use RASPA. And uh, uh, also, we, uh, we found very convenient to shape our work chain in AIDA because uh, here there are a lot of operation and logic that we need to take into account. So we have our crystal structure, we compute the accessible per volume and the blocking spheres. This is something that uh, is often forgot because, uh, um, because uh, we need some logic to do this. So we need to block uh, all these pores that are not accessible to, to the molecule because maybe they are connected to narrow uh, channels. So we have to exclude them from the GCMC calculation. And we need to do this by running another software. If it's porous, so if the molecule can enter at all in this material, we run widom insertion that basically computes uh, the, sl the initial slope of the isotherm. And uh, if it's not too low, otherwise the material wouldn't be interesting, we choose uh, a relevant pressure point to sample. So here I don't want to enter in the detail but uh, we, are, uh, um, we are guessing, given the initial the saturation point and the Harry coefficient, so the initial derivative, which are the important pressure points that we need to sample to have a smooth isotherm. And this is something that we don't know a priori without this logic. And for all these pressure points, we compute uh, the loading with GCMC, ending with uh, uh, our nice isotherm. And also to do this, uh, we, uh, we have another uh, um, type function that uh, uh, provides us on the fly the uh, um, 
uh, the parameters for the force field. And it's very convenient because we can play with it and tune the parameters. Uh, you can read uh, in our repository, I dial a small, uh, all the detail of this, uh, of this work chain. And uh, um, I mean, here you can recognize more or less the logic that I described. And this is also documented if you want to uh, understand how it works a little bit uh, uh, better and use it for your own research. The final step, uh, going very fast because it's very technical uh, we implemented some uh, in python a program that given the isotherm can uh, estimate the performance uh, for CO2 capture and uh, and then therefore we connected the output of the previous calculation the information from the previous calculation to this program to compute this performance the final uh, uh, graph looks pretty scary because we started from our crystal and we did the DFT um, optimization and poor analysis and then uh, you see how much logic there is uh, to compute uh, uh, isotherm, isotherms and at the end uh, these are injected in our Python program to uh, do the process evaluation. We did this for more than 300 material and this is a very nice uh, graph that represents uh, um, how all this calculation when connected uh, look like it, it's like a dandelion where every petal is uh, one different material and it's uh, kind of expiring and we could pro, um, upload this on material cloud so now on material cloud we have a list of the material we analyzed and all the results we got so you can browse them and check all the intermediate step all the detail input for our simulation and all the outputs. And the concept, uh, the very uh, nice thing of uh, um, automating this in, uh, in AIDA was uh, to update the study. We started with the 324 coughs and we published it. But then uh, every few months we could update this from uh, coughs that uh, we passed from the literature. You can uh, follow us on Twitter when we post uh, all the new coughs that uh, that get published in the literature and time to time we collect them and we run our scripts again and the nice thing is to realize that whenever we compute the performance for this material we realize how high performance material were probably investigated for a completely different application and uh, uh, this gave us inspiration this is the, the concept of screening, uh, finding uh, the needle in the haystack. And uh, um, what we are working currently is uh, to implement this concept for different applications. So we started with CO2 capture, uh, we can extend it to methane storage and other uh, absorption application. And you can understand that uh, once we have the work chain, m adapting it uh, to different uh, similar application, it's very uh, straightforward for us and extend in our database with also zeolite and metal organic framework allow us to have a ranking for all uh, these different applications and uh, whenever there is a, we can keep it updated but whenever there is a new material uh, we think it's a, it's very uh, appealing to understand uh, among the different applications which one uh, is the more promising and this is the concept that we are currently developing in this platform uh, that is called Maskrin. And uh, I hope you, you stay tuned to, um, to know how uh, our platform is going and what are the future plans for it.